the decision to euthanize your cat can be an emotional one. Depending on the special bond you've developed, in addition to other circumstances, having your cat put to sleep can be one of the toughest decisions of your life, and the aftermath can be even more difficult. Grief and guilt can often accompany your decision. If you've recently had to put your cat down, was it the right thing to do? If your furry pal was terminally ill and uncomfortable, you know their time was coming to an end. If all options were discussed, most notably with your family, friends, and the advice of a vet, then yes, you did the right thing. The noble thing. Pets, like people, prefer to die with dignity. As sad as it is, and as tough as it is to let go, your cat would thank you. Allowing your feline to live through incredible pain and overall discomfort is simply not the right thing to do. We all know that in our minds, but it can be tough to reach that conclusion in our hearts. In this video, we will discuss how to deal with this important and terribly emotional decision and everything the ultimate conclusion will entail for you as a loving pet owner. We hope this material can provide you with valuable information, but also peace and comfort in knowing that you did the right thing. As it relates to what you'll receive in terms of a professional opinion, there are guidelines for euthanasia. This is according to the American Veterinary Medical Association. Based on the guidelines, your vet can conclude or in some cases refuse to euthanize a feline. Although wanting to end the life of a cat that's not on death's door seems rather insane, it does happen, especially if the cat is always sick with minor illnesses or simply a behavioral nightmare. In these cases, a vet will seek shelter for the cat in question. However, when dealing with the most logical measures, which is why you're here, a vet will suggest euthanasia when several items on the following checklist are met. Odds are that you've seen what your vet will see. If your cat is in a dire situation, these signs and symptoms are likely known to all. They are as follows. Unable to move comfortably, difficulty walking, relaxing, eating, etc. Lack of interest in eating or drinking, physically unable to consume. No longer shows an interest in being attentive. This includes lack of interest in humans and all types of interaction. If the cat has a known terminal illness and is in constant pain, this is more of an easy one as the cat has a history of illness and decline. There are proven and verified factors involved in these cases. And finally, similar to the point concerning terminal illness, if your cat is sick and needs round-the-clock attention and expensive medicine just to sustain life, this could be time to discuss the final days. This will include putting an end to your pet's suffering in the proper manner. Whether you've had your cat for 20 weeks or 20 years, you know that cats are very proud animals, very independent. They have a naturally high standard of life. This is why healthy cats groom all the time. They're in a constant battle to maintain their place, for lack of a better wording. Because this is true, when quality of life dips dramatically, it can hit them quite hard. While it is always heartbreaking to say goodbye to your cat, every animal makes that final turn. The turn that signals no recovery. The turn that sadly says things will never get better. When your cat reaches that point, it is in the best interest for all involved to allow your cat to be put down peacefully and place your own feelings aside. When translated from the Greek language, the word euthanasia means good death. Allowing your cat to pass quietly in this fashion is better than many other alternatives. If euthanasia is advised in your personal situation, your vet will discuss everything with you. While a vet certainly can't force this upon you, a vet can and will Lay out the entire scenario and explain as to why this conclusion was drawn. The final decision is yours. However, it's paramount to realize that a conclusion achieved by a professional is what has brought you to this point. Regardless of your cat's diagnosis and the vet's final recommendation, the guilt that can come from euthanizing your cat can be overwhelming. Even if you know without a shadow of a doubt that you did the right thing, it's natural to wonder, 
what if? While the loss of a pet is painful enough, the knowledge that you made a choice to end its life can take your pain to a new level. As someone who recently lost their cat to old age and natural causes, I'm here to tell you that you did the right thing and don't spend a moment feeling guilty. By the time I personally decided that my cat needed to be put down, it was actually too late. Due to a national holiday and a few legal hang-ups, I was unable to have my cat put down. Instead, he passed away in my home some 48 hours later. In retrospect, it was a true blessing that he died in my home. But whether he was put down or passed away naturally, I was prepared to live with no regrets and no guilt. If you're watching this video, then you know you are a loving pet owner. You know that you'd never make a rash decision when it comes to your cat's life. Shed the guilt and focus on the beautiful life your cat had, the beautiful memories that were made, and that personal and so very special legacy that your cat will leave behind in your heart and mind. Euthanasia can be very controversial, especially if you have concerns about what will happen to your cat, what your cat would feel, and how your cat will feel. Although so much surrounds the idea of putting your cat down, the process is rather quick and simple. When the time comes, your cat will receive an injection in its leg. There will be no pain involved, shy of that tiny sting of the injection itself. If a vein is unable to be located, your cat's abdomen can become the injection site. The entire process from start to finish only takes a matter of minutes. Once your cat has passed away, you can then decide to have your pet cremated or have the body returned to you for burial. The decision all comes down to your current emotional standing and how much you can tolerate while some people view this opportunity as a final chance to say goodbye, others intentionally avoid the moment, choosing instead to remember their cat during their best moments of their life rather than the heartbreaking end. If you do decide to be present, you must prepare yourself for everything, not only for how you're going to feel, but also what you're about to witness. It's important that someone is with you, not necessarily in the room, but with you at the facility itself. You'll need emotional support leaving and when making your way home. Family and friends can be of great help during this time, both emotionally and potentially financially, which brings us to our next concern, the cost. What if your cat needs to be put down, but you simply lack the funds? If this applies to your personal case, please click on the initial link in the description box below if you're watching this video from our YouTube platform. If you are already on site, please read the detailed paragraph concerning the inability to afford your vet bill. How do you deal with the loss of a pet, your precious cat? How do you grieve and cope with the death of an animal so special? It should be noted that there's truly no right or wrong way and certainly no time limit. Only you know the bond that was shared. And because of that fact, everyone's grief is different, and that's 100% okay. When it comes to grief, it's typically a five-step process. Denial, bargaining, anger, depression, and acceptance. Depending on your personal situation, some steps will naturally be skipped, while others could linger for quite a while. Denial will begin almost hours after your cat's death, if not immediately. This isn't real. This didn't just happen. My cat will enter the room within the hour. Those thoughts and some similar are common. This is especially true if your cat was in your life for years, perhaps even more than a decade. The bargaining stage can be a bit tricky. It involves the notion that doing something quote unquote right will bring your cat back. Out of respect for every grieving cat owner, this is indeed a very slippery slope and one that I will not personally tread out of respect. Everyone will have their own moments of weakness in the grieving process. The next step in the process is depression. This is, as it seems, the overwhelming loss and void that is left in your cat's wake can be hard to accept. 
you can feel the void, and it's very painful. And finally, acceptance. In some cases, this can take a few days. For others, a few years. Acceptance occurs when you can reflect fondly upon your cat without sadness and heartbroken emotion. During the acceptance process, smiles and laughter occur, thinking back on the good times and just being grateful. Truly thankful that you had your cat and that your cat had you. Truly grateful for a wonderful shared experience and a wonderful adventure. Content in knowing that your feline had a wonderful and happy life while in your care. This is especially true if your cat was of senior status, a full life well lived, for we should all be so lucky. If you would like to know more about coping, grieving, and generally how to come to terms with the loss of your cat, we recommend the positive comforts and actions. Number one, read The Rainbow Bridge. It can provide you with a strong sense of peace at a time when you're struggling. I will provide a link to The Rainbow Bridge poem in the description box below. Another positive action involves getting in on the action. Stay busy. Continue your life. The grief will be with you regardless, but it's important to carry on in the face of pain. You'll be glad that you did. If this entire situation is simply too much to handle, it's okay to seek help. Therapy and counseling can be a wonderful thing. Only you know what your cat meant to you. Talk to a professional if you're having a difficult time getting over this loss. Memorialize your cat. Do it in a special way. This can involve setting up a physical memorial in your home or simply donating to a charity or shelter in their name. This will not only help you to cope with the loss, but also establish your cat's legacy in real time. And finally, rounding out our list of positives, we recommend enhancing the lives of other animals. Are cats your calling? Do you have other cats in your family? If sheltering and caring for felines is something that you feel led to do, then by all means, continue your journey. You can also volunteer at a no-kill shelter. And as corny as it may sound to some, what would your cat want you to do in the aftermath of their passing? I would guess that helping other animals live a long and full life would be at the top of the list. Allow the memory of your precious feline to live on through your good deeds. In terms of getting a new cat in an effort to replace your previous pal, it's wise to think about this move long and hard. No cat will ever replace another one, perhaps in the literal sense, but certainly not in your heart. Give it time. When you're ready, take that bold step and get a new cat. Euthanasia is hard. It's a road many pet owners dread, a road they simply never want to travel. In fact, some people are scared to own pets for this simple reason. They don't want ownership because they're afraid of building a bond and then having to put them down some years later. The subject is tough. There's no way around it. And this is why this particular video has taken on a personal touch for me. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I recently lost Burl, my 21-year-old tuxedo cat. He passed away of natural causes in my home earlier this month, July 6th, 2019. This video is dedicated to his memory, but is also dedicated to everyone who subscribes to this YouTube channel and reads the content posted at SeniorCatWellness.com. This dedication is especially true to those who've ever lost a cat due to euthanasia, illness, natural causes, etc. Whatever the reason, regardless of how your personal story unfolded, I dedicate this video to Burl and everyone out there who has lost a cat. As a quick backstory, Burl was the foundation for the development of SeniorCatWellness.com. He was the inspiration. Without Burl, there would be no site and there would be no YouTube channel. Burl is featured in the thumbnail for this video and in life. He was featured in a couple of videos earlier during this calendar year of 2019 in various capacities. Burl was a friend, he was a family member, and in many respects, he was a legend. He was respected by everyone and every cat. He was the king, even until the very end. Part cat, part dog, and heck, potentially part human, Burl was the greatest pet I've ever had. Caring for him and learning from him was a life-changing experience. And even though he's gone, what he taught me will stay with me for the rest of my life. Animals are great, and Burl allowed me to understand what it truly means to love and care for an animal. I'm a better person because of Burl. Pets teach you compassion and patience. 
In many ways, they do this far better than a human can. It was an honor and my personal pleasure to care for Burl during his finest hours as a thriving adult cat and also during his golden years and ultimately his final hours. SeniorCatWellness.com and the videos created for this channel will forever be Burl's internet legacy. To all who currently own a senior cat, you have my utmost respect and admiration. Thank you for being a good steward. I know Burl would be proud of each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this content, we'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching us now from SeniorCatWellness.com or directly from our YouTube platform, please hit that subscribe button. We produce fresh content on a regular basis, so come aboard for the journey. We'd love to have you. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day. And Burl, this one's for you. I'll see you at the Rainbow Bridge. Rest in peace.